So for lunch today, I'm going to be making some artisan cheese steak sandwiches. It's basically just like a Philly cheese steak with the artisan rolls, and I think it's going to come out fantastic. Um, so welcome back to the Oki Smoking Outdoor Kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and place some olive oil on this already warm skillet and let that get heated. I've got this uh, onion and I've got these peppers here that I'm going to go ahead and cut up. I've got about four orange and four red. And you can use bell peppers if you want, but we're going to get the vegetables sauteed first. up real well before we get the steak on. I'll just set it aside. Sorry, I just realized I didn't have my mic on, so the audio should hopefully be better now. This is the uh, steak that we uh, are going to be cooking today. And you can get sirloin, just cut against the grain to do this, but when I was at Costco, they already had these prepared so I went ahead and got these and I'm just going to cut them a little bit smaller well I'll go ahead and take a look at the veggies keep an eye on them kind of brown a little which is not exactly what I want so we're just going to turn them just a little bit dull some a little more oil I'm just going to put this on low. Let's set those over there. Phase two. Let's go ahead and add some more oil. Let's add this first batch of steak. Then I'm just going to add some SPG. This is some of my all-purpose seasoning. Add some salt, whatever you like. I'm going to season all over this steak real good. Whatever your favorite seasoning is, add to it. I'm just going to cook this up real, real nice here. I'm going to turn the burner off on this side. Just let those set. Get little veggies in there, that's all right. So if you're new here, my name is John. Uh, this is the Oki Smoking Channel, where it's an outdoor kitchen all the time out here cooking on the Blackstone, sometimes the Pit Barrel and the Weber Smoky Mountain, as well as uh, some deep fried stuff once in a while.
So if you are into that kind of stuff, be sure and subscribe. Let me go ahead and get this cooked up. So initially I was wanting some Philly cheese steaks and when I was at the store I couldn't find any of the, the bread. The, the bread you wanted, you know, they had hot dog buns. And I saw these artisan rolls right here. They were at Costco and they looked just looked really, really good. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna use this as the bread and make it an artisan cheese steak. So I think it'll be great. Weather outside's real nice. Had a lot of rain lately, and it's actually a pretty nice day. About 80 degrees here in Oklahoma. Little clouds, little sun. Not a bad day. Good day to come outside and do some cooking. Yep. Every day is a good day to come outside and do some cooking. That's time. We're just going to go ahead and merge the veggies right in here. Go ahead and mix it all up. You know what? A little more seasoning. SPG, a little salt, pepper, and garlic. I use it for everything. Just about. We'll set this back over here on the cool side, just kind of let it set, and we're going to assemble one. Then I'll assemble uh, some others. My wife is going to be using some keto bread. I'll assemble hers a little later once we do this one. So I'm going to get about the amount I want for this sandwich. Call it about like that. Looks like a nice good amount, don't it? Because we're also going to add some cheese right on top. A piece of cheese right there. Let that heat up. Meanwhile, got this side on low. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw. Look at this. This is the artisan row we'll be using. It's already... Pretty much cut, gonna get it apart here. Just like that. And I'm gonna throw this on the grill and let it cook for a minute. And then if you had several people, you can do two or three at once here. Uh, you can just leave this over here on the side that's turned off basically and then just assemble them as they come out if someone don't want cheese or want a different style of bread or something you know you can do that but i don't want this cheese just stuck on top i want this in this so they're going to melt this and put it all together before we put it on that artisan roll so let that melt just a little more That's what I want. Got that cheese starting to really mix in with the everything. Cheesy, yeah. Don't forget about the bread. Turn that over.
And that, my friends, is the artisan cheese steak. There's only one thing left to do. Add your favorite dressing if you want. You really don't need it, but I'm going to add a little ranch. Just a little ranch on there. Well, thanks for joining me in the Oki Smoking Outdoor Kitchen. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. That's really, really good. Really, really good. I can't express it enough. It'll make you a chili cheesesteak on an artisan bread or whatever bread you like.